Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Sid Survival got here signing in. What we've got today, we are going on a trip to another place besides where we live. And we're gonna, this is my first time ever using anything like this. So it's got this. I didn't actually have to put this together. This was all inside, just like said so. I have pulled it out, seasoned up some big fat burgers for lunch, and uh, I have got this Ozark Shell flat iron. So I'm gonna throw you guys on my chest and see how this goes. Oh, it's the Coleman two burner propane stove. All right, first thing you do, like so, like that, you're gonna screw this in. Never use it upside down. <laughs> Why, babe? Because it says it in the instructions. It'll blow up? It could. Uh, so I wonder if you have to light that one first and then that one. Because it's closer. I think this is, I think it, that's correct. This one is in line with this one first and then feeds this one. Right? So it's all the way on. Well, you don't hear that turn on. Exactly. Right? There it went. Negative. No? You heard it. <laughs> there it went. That one. Let's see what this is. I think I know where to mark it, so I'm assuming top would be. That's full speed. So we'll do them both about there. And we'll set this thing on here. That's not very hot, is it? No, it's not very hot at all, really. Thing is not very level. I didn't think about it because the hamburger grease. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. that's okay. That might be a problem. Well, a fork is tearing the burger apart right here. That's a problem. Mm. <laughs> You're so ridiculous. Am I? Look at it heating up. Yeah. You think I can get all five of them on here? Yep. If is the that... griddle was just a little bit bigger. I know. The cast iron over it though almost gives it a a little bit more comfortable smell than the butt crack of death. Yeah. Monoxide de carbone. Decarbon? That's what happens when two cars get together. Is it decarbon? They carbon. <laughs> oh, do they? Ooh -hoo -hoo. Uh -huh. Put my little wind flaps back there. There's a lot of heat right here, guys. It's gonna be take a minute to heat it up, though. Oh, it's already getting warm. Yeah, it's already getting warm. Yeah. First time ever for both of us, guys. It's starting to look like it is. So we got a little bit of oil. Four. Cause we always put a little oil. Remember last time I cooked it? A little bit of oil did good. Not that kind of oil. All right, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and put one on here. Might have to prop this side up. For who what? Huh? For who what? I'm going prop this side up. For who what? For who what? It ain't a who. It's a thing what? <laughs> it's a what? It's a thing. Where's my level? <laughs> How long is that? Look, real hmm. quick. Oh, 
Oh yeah, FYI, don't yeah. don't use it inside of a tent. It says right there. Yeah. <laughs> no tent use. Oh. Yeah, please. Never done this before, guys. Well, never on a never on a gas grill. It'd be super cool if this was fast. Yeah, I just need a spritz. Ooh, that's hot. Hello. Go ahead and put a little on there. I need to see where it goes. Right I feel like we're going to run here. All right, then hold on. I mean, you might be pretty good right there. Because the back. Yeah, it's going to the back. Well, then I need to turn that around, huh? Whoa. I have to cook for five every time and now this is going to be used in the future for camping too but this is a test run because we're going to be doing some over we're going to be doing some traveling and i want to make sure that we can just stop and, and eat and we don't have to pay for fast food and stuff I tend to flip my burgers a few times, guys. So anybody that's cringing, just cringe away and take it out in the comments. And hopefully everybody is uh, a fan of anything that's got to do with food. And I don't always put food on my channel, but I would love to. If you guys have any suggestions, on how to use this, best place to sit it. We will be traveling in a van, so I'll be able to lift the top, open and close. I put that one on first with no oil, so that's why I went ahead and flipped it. You can see where some of it stuck and the rest did not. It's a pretty good though. I just don't know how long this thing will last. I don't have any, any idea. This is super cool. What? 
this like this changes the game yeah because i mean like, i like firewood and i love a campfire but i like food more yeah. you know this just makes it to where we can take things with us and stop and eat whenever we want we don't have to i need a camper top baby these things like this could just be left in the truck yeah. and safely store these somewhere in the front or something something where they're not gonna fluctuate heat too much yeah I like it. Yeah. I do. I am. I am. It's cool. Yeah, you have. I just, I for me, it's like got to get to where it's useful. I mean, I like doing something with the car too. Yeah, but this is so convenient. We went to the tripod last summer. Yeah. You know what I mean? All right. You had one of these. Yeah. That one's going to be a slower cook because it's in between the burners. Burners, yeah. Yeah. So I'll swap it out with this one. This one I put on first. To clean, make sure stove is cool. Move stove away from flame, including pilot lights and other ignition sources. Remove propane cylinder from regulator and replace protective cap on cylinder. Remove regulator from stove. Lift off pot support. Keep stove area clear and free from combustible materials, gasoline, other flammable vapors, liquids. Do not obstruct the flow of combustion, ventilation, air. Good flames should be blue with minimal yellow tip. Some yellow tips on flames are acceptable as long as no carbon or soot deposits appear. Wipe clean with soft cloth and mild dish detergent. Do not use abrasives. Explosion! Pew pew! And this was $43 at your local Walmart. You got a guy in the neighborhood who just lets his dog freely poop anywhere and he doesn't do anything about it. Doesn't attempt to clean it. Nothing. That's it. He freaked out on me for shooting out some fireworks on July the 3rd. Oh, pecker neck. Every time I see him doing it, I'm like, you gonna get that? <laughs> you gonna pick that up? But I don't got no dogs. Better not be stepping in dog poop in the yard. We <laughs> we frequent. Yeah, I mean, none of us allowed to have dogs. I feel like there should be no dog pooping in the yard. Now with these burgers being as sick as they was, I basically just cooked them until the blood stopped flowing out of them. And now I'll let them sit here and melt this cheese and they'll be good to go. All right, here you go guys. We're looking at like 30 minutes to break this out, cook five burgers. When I get the burgers made and stuff and I get it a, a final time, I'll bring you guys back.
Well, that's awesome. I'm gonna leave it sitting like this for a minute and let that cool off. There you go, guys. Let's go take a look at these burgers. You ready for this? All right. It's really good. Obviously it doesn't have any taste of gas because it was on the cast iron, but did a really good job. I look forward to the meals that we can create in the future together. All right, there you have it. About 45 minutes beginning to end. This is the next day. I've sat on it. It worked well. Hopefully everybody has enjoyed the video, and if you have, make sure to like and subscribe. Check us out in the future. Sit Survival Guide.